Well, good morning, guys. I know a few people have asked about the car, and well, I'm gonna give you guys an in-depth tour and uh, look around and inside of the 99Z24 Cavalier. I know for a lot of you people, you probably won't care, but for me, I'm excited. I wanna thank Bradley, my bowling league teammate and good friend, and uh, his parents. You know, his mom was selling this car, and Quite honestly, I believe I got this car for a steal. 1500 bucks for a 20-year-old car. Yeah, I know. 104,000 miles, but it's a five-speed. Got the better motor. Clean, relatively clean for the age. And a Z24? The top package? Anyway, let's go take a look at it. This car is really nice. I cleaned it up, waxed it, polished it, and everything. And, I mean, just look at that shine. Love it. Let's go. I did just wash and wax it. I use this product called Presta Fast Wax on it. Really, really gives this 20 year old car a shine. Can't believe how clean the wheels are too for being 20 years old. Now things I plan on doing too, like I know it's not perfect, it is 20 years old. I have black touch-up paint, which I'm going to use like on the door edge. As you can see, like there's those white marks. A friend told me too that also owns a black car. He said when you own a black car, a Sharpie marker is your best friend because you can use that to touch up things. So, and he was right because I've started doing that already a couple of times <laughs> just to try it and it works pretty good plans for this too will be to address this quarter panel rust on there. I'm going to take care of that. You're going to have that with a car this age. These things, their main problem was they rotted out. Cavaliers though, they would run forever, literally. And with a 2.4 liter engine, as long as you take care of it and maintain it, you'll get many years of life out of it. Can't complain. Now I parked this thing just right dead. I don't have to have the e-brake on, the parking brake. You know, it ain't going to roll forward or backward being a manual where it's parked, but you always are supposed to put it in gear and leave the parking brake on when you turn these uh, manual cars off. Otherwise, it could roll away, especially if, you, if you're on a hill. But one thing I noticed that this car does, um, when you take the parking brake off, the lights turn on. Those are the daytime running lights. You know, that's just a safety feature. You know, they're always on day or night those always come on but I like them they're pretty cool so I like having that feature on there none of my other cars ever had that so uh, I think it's different to have it I like it I know that I know that's stupid to you know acknowledge that but I wanted to make a note of it but know what I really like though too about this Z24 packages with the fog lights that it has as well it sets up for a really aggressive front end on it. I really like it a lot. I really like the 95 to 99 version of the Z24 because you had the fog lights way down in there in the bumper. You had the turn signals in the bumper and on the side marker lights, which also acted as turn signals. In 2000, they redid the front end to make it a dull filament headlight bulb instead of having a separate low beam uh, headlight bulb and a high beam headlight bulb. I actually like this setup better to be honest. Not that the other one's bad, I just like this. But I still really love this aggressive front end. And it makes it fitting because it's black. Being a Z24 as well, it has the red emblem on the back, which they only put on the Z24s and the RS models. So all the other ones had the blue emblems on them. So really cool. And then when you go up to 03 to 05 design on these third generation J-Body Cavaliers, they put the gold emblems on them. And I believe that's when they did away with the Z24 package. I could be wrong, but still, I like this. The Z24 emblem, by the way, on the quarters, I plan to paint those red. I'm going to do that. I like these taillights, too. In 2000, they changed up the taillights just a little bit. Not much, but just a little bit. Where they have, um, 
round backup bulbs in them instead of these uh, flat ones on here. So really like that a lot with this car. A lot of potential. And you know me, I like stickers. So stickers are going to be going on here. I already have an OBX sticker, you know, from the Outer Banks where I go all the time. And it's fitting because it is the one with the pirate flag on or the skull and crossbones from the pirates or whatever. There's the trunk. Yeah, you guys can yell at me. It's already full of crap. But in my defense, Thursday night, I had bowling league. So here's my bowling ball bag and equipment in there and in Kayla's bowling equipment. And here's the sticker I was telling you guys about the Outer Banks one that I'm going to put on. It's fitting that it's black and red and has white on it. It matches this car perfectly. I have dozens upon dozens of Outer Banks stickers from all the years I've been going down there. But this one's fitting for this car. Got my camping chairs in there too. And, you know, with me collecting hand baskets, this is actually like in handy. Here's my paintbrushes I'm going to use to touch up some things. And here's the fast wax I was telling you about. That stuff's pretty good. And, uh, yeah, KB Toys hand basket. <laughs> so, not bad. Got sunscreen in there and bug spray since it's summertime. And, uh, oh, yeah, you guys didn't see these before. Check these out. My buddy Andy made these. How about some Wally pins, guys? <laughs> you ever see me in person? You can bet I'm going to have these here with me. So, yeah, there's all different. There's four different types like that. Let me see if I can find a red one. It's all tucked in here. But, yeah, you get the idea, though. Yeah, here's one here. So, not bad. And then I got work boots in there because, uh, what a crazy week it was. Millville got flooded a little bit again. Yeah, Millvale got flooded on Thursday, a year and a week to the day, but thankfully it, it wasn't that bad. So, um, just some minor road flooding. My mom had a close call, though. The water came halfway up the backyard, probably about like 12 feet from the house. But thankfully the rain stopped and the creek went down and she didn't get flooded this time. And I'm very thankful for that because I did not want to have a repeat of last July. That was bad. So, um... Very thankful for that, but it was a close call that I don't ever want to have again. Tired of having them. Oh, yeah. I forgot to tell you guys. Also about this car, you're going to love this. When I was cleaning it out, I went in a glove box. Naturally, the owner's manual was in there. The original paperwork is in there, like books and stuff like that. But I couldn't believe what I found in here. 20 years this has been in this car since the day it left the dealer lot check this out okay, here's all the original paperwork that came with it you know with the owner's manual right here I love that the owner's manual came in the same leather book that my Beretta did my Beretta had the exact same book in there really like it every page is in there looks really good glad to have that but my favorite thing guys is 20 years the dealer sticker has been in this car now. Yeah, it's not in perfect shape, but the fact that it's been in here its whole life. Look at this. In 1999, this was $16,816. That's expensive for the for back in the day for a Cavalier. But as you can see, yeah, it got all the features on it. All of the features. Really nice. Try and find that in cars this old. It doesn't happen a whole lot. So, pretty happy to have all of that. Don't mind the spoiler, too. The clear coat's coming off. I'm going to sand that down and paint it. It'll look brand new. I know you guys wanted to see the inside of the uh, car. A couple people have requested an inside tour of it. So let me show you that real quick. There you go. That's my view of it. I like the graphite with red uh, trim in here on the seats and stuff. I do really like that a lot. I think that's really cool. Let me flip the uh, driver's seat up if I can get the button. <laughs> that's the back seat. Not bad. I just vacuumed it. So any of those lines and marks you see, that's actually from the vacuum that I used when I swept it up. Because there was a lot of dog hair in this thing. <laughs> Previous owner had uh, 
had a small white dog, so there's a lot of dog hair in there. Of course, I got my Connie Out Lake Park hat in there. I got a tray full of CDs. Yes, I'm a metalhead because I'm still rocking the 1990s Delco radio, the CD player. I'll tell you what, though. It's really, really good. It sounds really good, but I'm still eventually uh, going to put my Sony aftermarket head unit in here, which I had in my Sebring. And uh, here's my uh, button for the tune knob. It's broken inside, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a little bit of super glue put in there and glue it onto there so it sticks but I can't complain and when I want to listen to like you know my phone listen to music on YouTube I have this little FM adapter here FM transmitter Kayla bought it you know for the time being until we get the kit to put my radio in here because on these cars on these Cavaliers you got to take the whole dash off just to take this piece off because this radio piece is one big thing that goes around the gauge cluster. And it looks like somebody may have had it off in the past. It's possible because that's like all chewed up. But I don't really care. For 20 years old, I can't complain. But look at this though, guys. 104,000 miles. Now, when I bought it, it had 103,000. And in a week, I've already put nearly 1,000 miles on it. Can you tell I've been excited to drive? <laughs> I love this thing. I love the fact that it's a five speed. The three pedals on the floor, I love it. Now this floor mat, that's gonna go too. I'm actually looking for a set of black floor mats in here, uh, preferably with the Chevy emblem on them in red to match the car, kinda like my steering wheel cover matches. I love this, I found this at Pet Boys for 18 bucks. Cause another thing with a 20 year old car, the steering wheel was starting to fray a little bit up on top, so I bought this to put over it and I think it looks pretty good, it matches. The air conditioner in this thing also blows ice cold. I couldn't be happier. The Sebring blew ice cubes. The CRV, on the other hand, the compressor went bad in that, which is common on those second gen CRVs. But on this Cavalier, and I know GM has a habit of having bad air conditioners in cars back in the day, especially. This thing, though, works flawless. I love it. I always have it up cranked up high during this time of year. <laughs> After driving around for a year and a half with no air conditioner, I'm spoiling myself with this. Only thing I don't really care for about this is the cup holder behind the shifter. It's not very deep, and that's what they did in 2000. They put two cup holders in there and made the wells a little bit deeper because I put a bottle of water in there. I go around a bend, sometimes it falls out of there. But they do have one here in the center console. They have a cup holder here, and then I don't really have anything in there yet except Kayla's phone charger, mine, because they both take different uh, USB ports. But it's no, no real big deal. So, not bad. The pockets and the doors are pretty nice to have as well. For 20 years old, 1,500 bucks, 103,000 miles. Say I did pretty good. Seat folds down, by the way. While you're watching this video, too, Chances are I'm at Millerstown Pick Apart in the morning, which is north of Pittsburgh. It's one of the biggest junkyards we have, and they have a lot of these Cavaliers there. And I'm going to see what goodies I can find out of them. You know, I know with the Z24 package, you pretty much got the best of the best because the base coupes and the other ones, and even the base sedans, they didn't get all the bells and whistles like the Z24 got. The Z24 had everything like all the options on it now the only thing that this one doesn't have that some of them have is the fact i don't have a sunroof some of them had a sunroof on them this one doesn't i'm okay with that i can't complain but i do like the fact that it has the power locks which i know you can't really see but the power locks there power mirrors and and my favorite thing power windows yeah how many Cavaliers had power windows in them? Not many. So I'm pretty happy to have that. And to give you guys an idea of how it runs, runs pretty well. Fires right up every time. I can't complain. Now with a five speed, you gotta start it up by pushing the clutch all the way to the floor, so. Whoop. Put that neutral there. Not bad. Not bad. I like. 
can see the motor for yourself here. Let me just open up the hood. Kind of need two hands for this job. <laughs> and there it is, guys. The 2.4 liter twin cam dual overhead cam engine. They put these in the Z24s and the convertibles. I don't know if the other models got them. I don't believe the base coupes did. I think they just got the 2.2 liter for the time. In, uh, I want to say it was 2003 or so, 2002, 2003. They went to the Ecotec 2.2, but this is a nice motor. I like it. It's got some uh, power to it for a little four-cylinder. I'll say that. Purrs, too. It's nice and quiet. For stock exhaust, it doesn't run too bad. Sounds pretty good. I'm not one of those guys that's going to go leave the phone or the camera on the ground and jump in it and rev it up for you. I don't feel like doing that. <laughs> Making the neighbors mad. It's not loud. I don't want it to be loud anyway. It's not supposed to be. Sounds pretty good. I didn't know that it had a dual tip on it though. Dual exhaust tip coming out of the muffler. A lot of them only had one. I like it. It's cool. Yeah, guys. She's a pretty good little car. I'm very happy with this thing. Okay, so there was a look at the Z24. Hope you enjoyed the video. Anyway, guys, have a great Saturday. I'll talk to you guys later. Take care. Stay awesome. Make the best of your day. Don't work too hard if you're working today. If you're not, have fun. Talk to you later. Bye. Okay, babe. Here we go. Um, now, move over to the right. Um, no, the other way, my right. A little more. A little more. Perfect. How was it? Beautiful. If you think the Cavalier looks good, wait till you know it can go up to 100,000 miles before its first scheduled tune-up. Chevy Cavalier. The more you know, the better it looks. Genuine Chevrolet.